right, so I got a couple of items from a friend, which I cannot say. Uh, so I got one, I got a few pieces of the Ryobi Days display. I got this box, and I got this banner. So I'm going to find out where I could put these later on today. So this is the next day after I threw my back out by putting that by putting that box down, an empty box. Uh, I'm feeling good. I took a boiling hot shower about 30 minutes ago. It loosened my back up a little bit, and so now it's it's feeling a lot better. But it's a little sensitive here and there. So I want to do this video of the. Uh, not unboxing, but to show you what you get in this uh, purchase for the polisher for uh, angle grinder. Uh, and so I would, I just wanted to do this, and I will put the link for this uh, for this product in this in the description below. And we are going to go through the through this to see what the specifications are for this compared to the angle grinder. As you can see, I can get up and down just fine. A little pressure here and there, that's pretty much it. But uh, I did, uh, I looked at the specifications for when it comes to the RPMs. Uh, the RPMs, maximum RPM for, for this product is tw uh, 12,000. After that, it will, I, I'm, I'm going to assume that it would break, it would start to rip itself apart. The maximum RPM for this is 10,400. So this is well under the RPM max that this product can handle. So we're gonna uh, go through this really quick, see what you get in this uh, with this purchase. What we uh, I looked at this yesterday just because I want to leave the guy positive feedback because I got this off of eBay. What you get out of the package is um, angle that down a little bit more like that is one this one is a sander this one is a sander I do we're gonna uh, I have to investigate a little bit more on uh, what kind of thread I need for that so yes we're gonna investigate in the sander a little bit later but we're focusing it because because we're focusing on the pro uh, the polisher so yeah, that's that's cool though. I did not know that it came with that. That's good. Now this is the polisher. As you see, uh, it's Velcro. That's how you you get the foam pads on, and uh, it it does get screwed on like a regular. Yes, we're actually gonna we're actually gonna put this on right now. There we go. Then you can take that off. Then this comes out just like so. There we go. All right, so the threads here. Uh-oh. Oh, I think you gotta take that off as well. Perfect. And just like that, you gotta, you gotta lock it in. Bingo. And then there's the there's the sander part so that's actually that's actually very good I'm glad that that goes on just like that so the I, I have to investigate more on how this one goes on because it's a different thread system but we will find that out we will find that out <clears throat> I love this stuff it's seriously good all right, but what else comes in here? Those aside, is of course here is sanding discs that go will go on here. 
perfectly sized. And a few more sanding discs. I think there's two total. Nope. Three. Nope. Yeah, I think there are three, three discs total. And then you get Uh, you get the regular buffing pads, which they do have, I believe they do have Velcro on them. This will adhere to Velcro. Yeah. I, I love this system. Yeah, this is uh, another one with a vel vel Velcro padding. And then these are the ones that you want. I, I looked over this yesterday. I am missing something. I am missing something. There it is. All right, so I did want to point this out. So this is not a total, if this ends up not working out, it is not, this purchase is not a total loss because here is a drill attachment. Here is a, uh, the drill attachment, which this goes into the drill and then you screw this into the, into the buffing pad. So then the, you could put this, this pad on a drill. So there's two options what you can do. Which we are going to test that out as well when we test out this, uh, this product. And then uh, the final three pads are the ones that really do the job. That goes on just like that. Ooh, and that's on good too. Let's get a battery. Let's see. Interesting. That is awesome. That is awesome. So, if so, if for the tests that I do, I'm going to test it out on the boat uh, in a non. I'm going to do it under the boat. If, if it, in case if it scuffs up the finish of the gel coat, uh, it's not going to be as noticeable as it is on the side of the boat. So th I know this is not going to burn. This is not going to burn a hole through the boat because unless if I keep it there, pressing down as hard as I can on it, then it will. But if you're just gliding doing this, uh, I don't think with the proper lubrication of the product, I don't see a problem with that. But just in case, let's take this out. Just like that. That's, that's easy to take off too. We are going to put this on a drill. Just what I thought. It is a drill attachment, which is awesome. The other way. Perfect. Just like that. Get a battery. Beautiful. That is beautiful. So we are gonna test this out first on the boat. I'm gonna see if I can get the hull nice and white again, take all the oxidization off with uh, rubbing compound and wax and polisher. So I think this is gonna do a good job. And it, because this, if the angle grinder is, uh, turns out to be too much RPMs for, uh, to polish the, the vehicles, it is not this purchase is not a loss because it comes with an attachment you could put on a drill and then what i'm going to do in the future is get the 90 degree angled drill and so then i, I won't have to drill uh polish it like this i could still tr treat the angle drill like this so then that's going to be my polishing uh drill but i'm hoping that this works i think it will I'm going to do a little bit more research on the RPMs when it comes to an actual car polisher compared to this. And uh, I'm also going to see what 
it t how fast I need to move uh, without being in a spot for too one spot for too long. So we are gonna see. Uh, but I I I this was eleven dollars. Eleven dollars for all this. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put the link in the description below, and uh, then you could after you see this video, if you guys like what you see, then there you go. So we are gonna put this to the test because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are questioning: Could you use an angle grinder as a polisher? We are gonna find that out in the next video, which I'll be making tomorrow. Which tomorrow is my birthday, so June 20th is my birthday, so. That's what I'm gonna do on my birthday. Polish the crap out of the boat and uh, try this on the car afterwards to see what uh, if we're a if if we're able to. I'm willing to make this sacrifice for uh, for you guys in case if it something does bad happen, you guys will know from someone else's mistake and you don't have to make it your own. For eleven dollars, you get a lot of stuff. It, it it's it's it was not a bad deal at all, and the max RP like I said, the max RPMs for these is twelve thousand. Then I'm gonna assume after that they'll start ripping each other apart. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, stay tuned for the testing of this, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.